It's Now Again. Welcome back to It's Now Again, the podcast where we explore mindfulness practices from a secular, evidence-based perspective. I'm your host, Jeremy West, and today we're diving into a topic that I know many of us struggle with, how to accept the vast amount of suffering in the world while maintaining our compassion and helping wherever we can without overstressing or burning ourselves out. We live in a time where we are constantly bombarded with 24-hour news and images of, of suffering from all over the world. Whether it's poverty, war, natural disasters, or the effects of climate change, it can feel overwhelming to witness so much pain and hardship, especially when we feel powerless to do anything about it. As compassionate individuals, it's natural to want to help, but this desire to make a difference can sometimes lead to feelings of despair, hopelessness, helplessness, and burnout. Mindfulness offers us a way to navigate this challenging balance. It helps us cultivate compassion for others while also accepting the reality that we cannot personally solve every problem or alleviate all suffering. It teaches us to act where we can, to offer our support in meaningful ways, but also to recognize our own limits and protect our well-being. One of the key principles of mindfulness is acceptance, acknowledging reality as it is without resisting or denying it. This includes accepting that suffering is an inherent part of life, both for ourselves and for others. While this may sound disheartening at first, it actually opens the door to deeper compassion. When we accept that suffering exists and that we cannot eliminate it entirely, we can focus our energy on what we can do rather than being paralyzed by what we cannot. To better understand this balance, think of compassion as a well. This well contains the love, care, and energy we have to offer others. If we keep drawing from the well without replenishing it, eventually it will run dry. Mindfulness teaches us to be mindful of our well, to recognize when it's getting low, to take time to refill it with self-care, rest, and moments of joy so that we can continue to offer compassion to others without depleting ourselves. One of the challenges of accepting global suffering is the feeling of helplessness that can arise when we realize how much is beyond our control. Mindfulness invites us to shift our focus from what we cannot do to what we can do. Even small acts of kindness, donations, or simply offering a listening ear to someone in need can make a difference. By focusing on these actions, we can feel more empowered and less overwhelmed by the enormity of the world's problems. To illustrate the balance between compassion and acceptance, I want to share a story called The Starfish on the Shore. One day, a man was walking along a beach when he noticed a young boy picking up starfish and gently throwing them back into the ocean. Curious, the man asked the boy, why are you doing that? The boy replied, the tide is going out, and if I don't throw them back, they'll die. The man looked around and saw that the beach was covered with thousands of starfish. He said, but there are so many starfish here, and this beach goes on for miles. You you cannot possibly make a difference. The boy listened politely, then bent down, picked up another starfish, and threw it back into the ocean. He smiled and said, it made a difference to that one. This story reminds us that while we may not be able to solve all the world's problems, our actions still matter. Each act of kindness, each moment of compassion makes a difference, both to those we help and to our own sense of purpose and connection. Now that we've explored the concept of balancing compassion with acceptance, let's talk about some practical techniques you can use to cultivate this balance in your daily life. Number one, practice mindful acceptance. Begin by acknowledging the suffering in the world and accepting that it is a part of the human experience. This doesn't mean giving up or becoming indifferent. Rather, it means recognizing that suffering exists and that you cannot eliminate it entirely. By practicing acceptance, you can approach the world's problems with a sense of clarity and calm rather than becoming overwhelmed by their enormity. Number two, set boundaries for compassionate action. It's important to recognize your own limits and set boundaries for how much time, energy, and resources you can give to helping others. This might mean setting specific times for volunteering or making a monthly donation 
rather than trying to respond to every cry for help. By setting boundaries, you can ensure that your well of compassion remains full and that you don't burn out. Number three, focus on what you can do. When you feel overwhelmed by global suffering, bring your attention to what you can do rather than what you can't. Even small acts of kindness, such as helping a neighbor, supporting a local charity, or spreading awareness about an important issue can make a difference. By focusing on these actions, you can feel more empowered and less helpless. Number four, practice self-compassion and self-care. Remember that it's okay to take care of yourself, even when others are suffering. Self-compassion is an essential part of maintaining your ability to help others. Make time for activities that replenish your energy and bring you joy, whether it's spending time with loved ones, engaging in a hobby, or simply taking a break from the news. By caring for yourself, you ensure that you can continue to care for others. Number five, set an intention for balanced compassion. Set a daily intention to practice balanced compassion, offering help where you can, while also accepting your own limits. You might frame this intention as a question. How many more ways can I continue to offer compassion while also caring for myself even more? This intention will guide your actions and help you navigate the balance between helping others and maintaining your well-being. Mindfulness teaches us that while we cannot solve all the world's problems, we can still make a difference through our actions, our compassion, and our presence. By balancing acceptance with compassionate action, we can navigate the challenges of global suffering without burning ourselves out. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope you found some valuable insights into how mindfulness can help you balance compassion with acceptance, allowing you to help others without overwhelming yourself. If you are interested in going deeper into your mindfulness practice or you need personalized guidance in navigating these challenges, I offer one-on-one coaching sessions where we can explore these topics together. Visit jeremywest.net for more information. And while you're there, you can also check out the new app. If it's not there yet, it's coming soon at jeremywest.net. It's also called It's Now Again. And there you'll find a growing library of mindfulness practices including guided meditations to support your journey of compassionate action and acceptance. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, share it with others who might benefit, and rate the podcast. Your support helps us reach more people and continue exploring these important topics together. Until next time, keep practicing, keep growing, and remember, it's now again.